Tombstone, Arizona Territory, the morning of June 19, 1882. A day that started out about as quiet as any. Did I understand you right? Did you say you ain't going to Durango with the rest of us? Was well, that what you said? I said I don't have no score to settle in Durango. Sure you do. We're gonna kill Doc Holliday in Durango. It ain't that easy. Why not? There's five of us. Doc Holliday's the fastest gun there is. I ain't got any reason to mix with him. Well, I do. Well, you mix with him, then. I'm out. Face. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened, in the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory. The afternoon of June 20, 1882. Wait. Oh, hello, Harris. Well, Lee told me I'd find you here. All right, you found me. There's one mistake no man's supposed to make, least of all a sheriff. What's that? Getting caught in a crossfire. I'm talking about you going up to Durango after that Texan. What's his name? Ed Mace. Well, that's the crossfire. Him and Doc Holliday facing it out sooner or later. You in between. I'll try to duck. It's no joke, Lee. You're risking your life for nothing. Doc Holliday is going to get Mace. You know that. I could, I could print the story today. Doc Holliday shoots down man who killed Tombstone deputy. Well, Harris, I prefer Tombstone jury says man who shot deputy to hang. You'll never read it. Holliday's going to get him. Not if I can help it. Well, that's just the point. You can't help it. But you can get yourself killed in the trying. Is it worth it? Look, Harris, Will Hutch is dead. He was shot down by a cheap Texas gunman who was on his way to Durango. What do you want me to do? Sit around and wish that he were here so I could arrest him? You couldn't arrest him if you were there. Durango's not in your jurisdiction. I couldn't arrest him as a sheriff, but I can as a deputy marshal. I was sworn in an hour ago. You know the real reason I'm going. Will Hutch wasn't just a good deputy, he was a good friend. Here's your bacon, Sheriff. Oh, thanks. I'll see you, Harris. Where's the sheriff heading, Mr. Clyburn? Into a crossfire. It was a long ride across the Mogollon Rim to Colorado. June 23, 1882, Durango. Mace and his men arrived well ahead of Clay Hollister. Howdy. My horse needs a shoe. I'll be finished here in a couple of shakes. Don't hurry. You stranger in town? That's right. Fixing to stay on? I might. I'm looking for an old friend of mine. I heard he was up this way. Yeah? What's his name? Doc Holliday. I didn't know Doc had any friends. Oh, no offense. Know where I might find him? I hear Doc's been at the Royal Flush Saloon every night this week. Running real lucky. You a poker player, mister? No and again. And I hear Doc's real tough to beat. A man can't bluff him. Man might not have to. To get out drawing. You talking about cards or guns, mister? Just talking. Be with you in a minute.
You'll be at the Royal Flush Saloon tonight. Tell the boys to keep apart and stay out of trouble. Later that afternoon, Sheriff Clay Hollister approached Durango and headed straight to the Marshal's office. Of course, there's no telling when he's going to go for Doc Holliday or where. He might have been just talking big, you know, about coming up to Durango in the first place. No, I don't think so. He killed one of his own men just because he wouldn't come along. Well, killing a man is one thing, Sheriff. Going up against Doc Holliday is quite another. I still think he'll try it. I better stay as close to Holliday as I can. Holliday won't like that. I'll try to keep him from finding out. Suppose you do. Let's say you find Ed Mace like you planned. Didn't you say he has help? Three men. Figure on taking them all on? No, I am. Um, figure on getting help. Here. All right, Hollister. I'll do what I can. Thanks. You know where Holiday is now? Nope. But I know where he's going to be tonight. The Royal Flush Saloon. I call you, mister, and raise you $100. I think you're running one, Doc. Beats me. There are five. Mister. What's the matter? When a gentleman leaves the company of other gentlemen, he usually excuses himself. No offense, Doc. Excuse me, gentlemen. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Need a new player, gentlemen? Why not? That's what we're here for. Mace, is the name. I'm Farrell. This is Henderson, Maxwell. I guess you know this is Doc Holliday. Howdy. Howdy. Run them. Run them, run them! Jacks are better. You, Mr. Uh, Mace. It's a common name down around Dallas. I was in Dallas about a month ago. I know. I'll bet $50. I'll play. Did we meet before, Mr. Mace? It's up to you, Doc. Call. I pass. Cards? Three. Next three. Three. Hello. All alone. Three tens. The newcomer's good for my luck. Run him. Whiskey. Right away, Doc. Told you to keep an extra bottle at the table at all times, didn't I? Sorry, Doc. Expect me to drink out of this? It's full. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
You didn't think that was very funny. Not very. I don't like people who disagree with me, Mr. Uh... Mace. Ed Mace. Brother of Arnold Mace. Who's Arnold Mace? The man you killed in Dallas a month ago. Is that why you're here? That's why we're here. There are a couple other people here, Mace. Stay out of this. No interruptions. Everybody stand still. What do you want? You're holding up the game. I want him. You're under arrest, Mace, for the murder of Will Hutch, deputy sheriff at Tombstone. Get up slowly, Mace. Colorado, June 23, 1882. The patrons of the Royal Flush were amazed that Doc Holliday was still alive. If I were you, I'd get out before he comes to. Doc doesn't like any interference with his business. Yeah, well, I'm interfering. Easy. Easy. They got away, didn't they? Yeah, but you did all right. All right. This was a present to me when I graduated from dental college in Baltimore. Pretty good present. Saved your life. How do you like the nerve of him? He broke up my game, broke my flask, and tried to kill me. Mr. Mace has trouble coming. I'll take care of Mr. Mace. He's asking for it. Mister, I was playing a nice, quiet, profitable game of poker until you open your mouth. Now close it, get out, and stay away from Mace. He's mine. Over my dead body. You better go back to Tombstone. Doc. I will, just as soon as I've found Mace. You can draw first, mister. I can't. You have two guns. Nobody's as fast with both guns. You're lucky. You get another chance to clear out just as soon as I find Mace. Don't push your luck, lawman. Next time we meet, if you insist, your arm is liable to be all better. I've never seen Doc act like that. Neither have I. If I were you, stranger, I'd just let that arm bleed and bleed and bleed. Get away? Oh, they're deep in the Red Rock country by now. Where's that? Southwest of us. It's a haven for a man on the run. Mm. Pretty rugged? As bad as it comes. 
gorges, mountains, draws, ravines. You can't track a man. And you can't see him 10 yards away from him if he doesn't want you to. Looks like you're going to have to wait till he comes out, Sheriff. Goes with this again? No, thank you, Marshal. I'll take the rugged country. Thanks for your help. June 24, 1882. The Red Rock country of Colorado. I'm not better yet. Well, he's coming along. We might as well ride together, huh? Break up the monotony? Oh, I have another reason. You're better at tracking than I am. Uh, by the way, my name's Clay Hollister. Never heard of you. The afternoon of June 24. Those tracks aren't over a day old. Can you tell how many riders? Not for sure. More than two and less than five. That fits. Is your arm bothering you? Yeah, I guess it's a sling. Let it be. I'll take a look at it when we make camp. He's a slob. Well, no wonder you were in pain. The circulation was just about cut off. You're lucky you haven't had gangrene already. Got any more bandage? Yeah, saddlebag. <clears throat> Dennis, huh? Where'd you ever practice? In Georgia. Why'd you come out west? I have consumption, mister. Well, haven't you heard? I'm sorry. I'll leave this loose for the night. You should be able to draw in no time. Thanks. Take to relieve that? Maybe a bullet someday. <coughs> Doc? Yeah. Where's his brother, Arnold? What did you ever kill him for? I don't remember. morning of June 25, 1882. Hey, you know something? You're right about that circulation. Don't need to sling anymore. I'll send you my bill in the morning. found them. Looks like they found us. Cover me. Don't do it, Doc. They're trying to draw you out.
works, doesn't it, Mace? You could have had it quick and easy. One clean hole. Now you're gonna have a hundred little holes. I'm gonna pepper you to death. Come on out, Mace, and take it clean. There's only one left, Mace. I'm not so sure he's left. But I'm gonna find out. Hold on, wait a minute. He's mine, remember? How's your arm, Sheriff? I guess you could say it's all better. Now look, Sheriff, I'm grateful for your help. But I'm taking Mace. He's my prisoner. You can still make the first move. Sheriff, I want Mace. You're gonna have to draw. Over a dead man? All right, Sheriff, now you can have him. Just another one for you to forget? Tombstone territory. 